Here's a picture of my stairs finished. I'll give you that view first. Very nice looking. All strong and redesigned. Here's a picture. Notice how the handrail and it doesn't match the pitch of the stairs. This is a before picture. The balusters aren't exactly vertical. Um, don't let the tapering throw you off in that. They're not perfectly vertical. They're spaced poorly. Here's a piece of missing sheetrock under the stairs. And um, yeah, they're not they're not in they're not in alignment for sure. And the other problem was, and here's an inside view looking down uh, out to the kitchen. The other problem is the stairs squeaked incredibly and shifted and moved. So my first thing was to take off all the handrail, balusters, newel posts, um, there's and the trim and everything. I gutted these stairs in that sense, located the moving spots with the risers. I don't have a finished floor on the top of the stairs, as you see, but like I said, I screwed everything in there, made sure that was secure, that, that didn't squeak. There's no trim coming down here. I had to sheetrock and mud up all the holes. I have a little crack there, but I know I'm gonna do some trim over that little hole. Uh, you can see the newer plaster I have put up there. So I will paint all that and then trim that out later. And that will look very good as a finished product. This is beforehand. So I had to go underneath the stairs. See how I have all these, I made brackets on the inside and the outside of the stairs. Glued and screwed them in, as you see. That attached every single riser to every single step. But get a load of this. The risers and the steps were attached and not moving, but the whole staircase was moving. I'll get to that in a minute. Let me show you how I made these brackets. I took two pieces of wood, cut to, you know, just about, uh, you know, a couple inches from each end. I went almost the whole length of the, the, the width of the stairs. So I took like a one by four and another one by four, about yay long, butted them together as such, glued the end, and then screwed it all in from the back. And that is my bracket. In this case, I had to make what? Let's say 12 steps, give or take. So about 24 brackets. Um, but I did one bracket at a time, one or two, freshly glued and screwed. And then I would glue those onto the stairs and risers and screw them in. So all that glue was new as a whole unit on the stair. Um, this is how I applied it, okay? Put it on the outside, then put the bracket on the inside. Then put the bracket on the outside, then one on the inside, and then screwed them into stairs and risers with a screw that was just short enough to not go through the stair or the riser from the back side. Um, probably about an inch and a quarter. It was about an inch and a quarter, and I glued them in. So I'll, sh I'll show you a side view of the bracket. Uh, I think you probably figured this out by now, but just to recap, um, you have your L-shaped bracket. You're going to put it on the insides and the outsides. So just to reiterate, before I applied them onto the stairs, um, like if this is the outside bracket, I'll put glue on the inside here, put a lot of glue generously there, and then attach it to the outside corner. And then the reverse for the inside bracket, put the glue on the outside. Then I would screw it all in. I got a lot of screws. You can see I spaced them nicely. So that took care of the stairs. There's a view looking into the kitchen with the missing sheetrock. That took care of the stairs from moving, the steps and risers moving, but the whole staircase was moving. So look in the corner. That one by one piece of wood on the riser, I put one by ones on the steps and risers and attached them to the riser, uh, to the stringers, excuse me. One by one, glued and screwed them to the stringers. 
The stairs still had movement and some squeak. Wow. Uh, I don't I don't know what was going on. Right? So what I ended up doing, um, you know, I'm looking all around. It's like the these these uh stringers aren't moving up here and stuff. So I took off the one piece of sheetrock, which was on this right side of the wall, going down the stairs. See those studs? That stringer was not attached to any studs. There were nails shot in, but they would just miss the studs. So I had to screw them all into the studs. I just take the stringer and screw the stringer into the studs. That one side was just floating. And see right there, there's a crack. See at the bottom of that, that piece of one by one? There's a crack in the stringer. See where my finger is pointing to it? Well, it's also pointing to a two by four that I had to slap on the back side of it and screw that in. So I had to like sister a piece of wood in there to attach those two pieces. Can I tell you a bomb would go off and these stairs do not move or make noise. And also see all that goopy caulk? This is a blurry picture, I apologize. But there's goopy caulk in every blessed crack and corner that you could imagine in these stairs. And that caulk is soundproof caulk. It was about $10 a tube, well worth it. I used two tubes. I even overused it. I just used all the tubes up and caulked everything. And that's what you have. Very secure, sealed, soundproof stairs. Very strong. Funny story. I was watching TV one night. My daughter comes up and says, Hi, I almost jumped out of my seat because I never heard her coming. You get so used to hearing the squeaking and the stepping and everything coming down the stairs. It wasn't there anymore. So now here's the stairs. I had painted them and finished them up. You can see on the risers, I put gray peel and stick vinyl and I used little finishing nails to tack them in. Then I applied the uh, metal trim edge and I figured that was good because I didn't want anyone slipping. I'm not a fan of carpet. I thought this looked very nice, had a little industrial vibe going on. And I did that, of course, on Omo Fall. These stairs are very easy to maintain. The paint stays well. I just take a damp cloth, wipe them down quick, and I truly like them. Now you're seeing a view of the stairs with their black pipe railing and I used pressure treated four by four lumber. Everything kept very rough. I gray washed it with watered down gray paint that I do like the color of. And I just washed it down a little till I got right where I wanted that gray wash look. And I put trim up also. And there's the posts. And you can see the black pipe. And I have a post up top also. And I also have all the trim done. Now you'll see I used a uh, three quarter inch pipe. I go flange, nipple, elbow, and then pipe. And you can turn it to whatever angle you want. You gotta do your trigonometry because you gotta make sure that length is right for the angle. You, get, you gotta get your hypotenuse length correct. And I did the same up top here. And you'll notice that I also uh, lag bolted in the post to the wall. Now, these posts, I like them because it's like a farmhouse chic look. And here is a view from the inside stairs. You'll notice I put up the trim, also the gray washed. Uh, how wide is this? Like one inch uh, flat stock trim. And everything's very clean going up the stairs. I put in some teeny little uh, corner molding on the inside, uh, the, the upside of the stairs and in the bottom, you know, the bottom corner there. I'll show you. First off, here's the metal. That's that. Um, yeah, I put, put that in the corners and on the underside of the stairs. I also have a floor up on the top too, you notice. Here's a view coming down. See the handrail? I put a handrail going up 
top to the rest of the stairs too and I think it's just beautiful and matches all the great tones that I have and I think it looks very good you know coming down the stairs it's clean it's wide um, it's strong there's a lot of um, you can get a good view you know you don't feel cluttered again it's very strong and as I'm coming down the stairs I get a nice view into the kitchen and it looks nice looking into the stairway too there's that post now at the bottom of the stairs you're gonna notice see I kept this nice and smooth um, I, I want the rough I want that that look I don't care if there's splits or dings or dents that's all part of the look farmhouse chic right that's what I like to call it or is it industrial I don't know I'll change my mind every day all I know is I like it now these stairs are great but if you look over here I have a little extra something I had some extra plywood and I made a doggy gate see right there at the bottom of the stairs out of extra plywood and some uh, hinges that I had because uh, this little guy will fall down the stairs he's too short he wants to go up and follow my daughter and stuff like that and he can't do that so I made these they're hinged I can switch it over to the side I was going to attach it either to the wall or the post but then I realized sometimes you want the thing off like if you're bringing stuff up or down stairs so I leave it loose and I can even put it on the top stair if I want like this or not the top stair well I can put it anywhere on the stairs um, you know but I, I think it works good on the bottom step so I do that and um, yeah I, I gray washed it too I had the hinges very easy it's four pieces put two hinges in the back two hinges on the other side two hinges on the back again and that's it it works great and the cool thing is it's so intentional looking all the gray stained wood matches um, it wasn't rocket science to make that just sand the edges a little so you don't get you know uh, scratched up I also put the sheetrock up and the triangle and you'll notice here this trim I used is the same that I used in the stairwell again same gray um, gray wash paint and yeah it matches the posts matches everything I have the same pattern going down it just trims it out really nice and it's not a huge profile I really like that and also that triangle under the stairs that is peel and stick wallpaper and I can peel it off and that is the finished product and I think it's very sharp notice how that railing is parallel to, uh, to the pitch of the stairs see that yeah that's right made sure of that there's no eyesores over here I think it's lovely looking I get a lot of compliments I hope I gave you some good ideas and if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and subscribe thank you